Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Do you like going to uh, the opera? Well, if you do, um, maybe you've seen Paul Potts. I'd go and see any one of his operas, but uh, beyond that, not so much. Do you know uh, any good tips for when you might go out to, uh, let's say, the theater? And I don't mean like movie theater, but I mean like, you know, a theater where there are actual actors and actresses on stage. Well, I've got a, another top five list is submitted by Tuxedo Jericho from the chat room at live.perillo.com. He notes these tips not only work for movies, but theatrical shows and symphonic concerts. So, pay attention. Oops, sorry. Pay attention. I'm about to give you the top five tips for seeing a show. One, get there 30 to 45 minutes before it starts. This is important for concerts and theatrical performances because they open the house. That means the doors are open to allow the audience to find their seats and get all manner of talking out of the way before the show begins. It is also distracting to stage actors to have people attempt to find seats while they're trying to perform. And just so you know, you don't want to arrive too early, otherwise you're going to get in a fight with your girlfriend, uh, as happened to Ponzi and myself when we went to see Return of the King in the movie theater, and I wanted to arrive very early to get good seats, and she said, no, uh, we don't need to arrive that early, and we ended up fighting about it. And I mean, it was a, it was a huge fight, uh, and she still reminds me of that fight uh, to this day. So uh, pay attention. Find out when your wife wants to go, and that's the time you go. And understand, too, when she says, okay, I'm ready, give her another 15 minutes. Because when women say they're ready, they actually mean they're ready 15 minutes from the time they say they're ready. That's, another, that's a little tip in there. Number two, make reservations. This mainly applies for theatrical shows and symphonic concerts. You may ask why, but the answer is simple. If you fail to reserve a ticket, then there's a chance the show will sell out. If it's a popular show or a show that parents will want children to see, there's a good chance the show will sell out. Some places will call you back to confirm the reservation. Also, if you realize you can't make the reservation, then call the box office to, res to tell them ASAP. That way, the box office can open those seats up to other people. If you fail to reserve tickets, don't blame the people working in the box office. It's not their fault that you were idiotic and did not make the reservation. Also, do not turn to your spouse and say, well, I thought you did it. No, I thought you did it. No, what? No, you did it. You said you were going to do it. You, you wanted to see I didn't even want to see this. I didn't want to see it. It's not even, I don't, I don't even care about this. I don't, it's, no, don't, you don't do that either, because that, well, number one, it doesn't work. And number two, she'll remind it, uh, uh, you of that incident for the rest of your life. Number three, do not talk during the show. You may think your comment is funny, but the people around you will not. In a movie, it's not as bad as a play. Also, just because you think the lead actor of the show is, well, <clears throat> weird, you may not want to say this because you don't know if the people in front of you are friends of the actor or not. Four, do not bring children under the age of four or five to see a show. Yes, it may be a good show for them to see, but if they end up crying or, yeah, if they end up crying or trying to be fussy, you can bet that the actors and the other audience members will be unhappy and distracted. If it gets too bad, you may be asked to leave. If you take a child to the show, request to get aisle seats. This way, if the little bundle of joy is fussing, you can quietly get up and take the child out to the lobby and attempt to calm him or her down. And number five, turn off your mobile devices. This is one that even reminded, even if reminded by the director beforehand, people tend to forget. Nothing like watching a showing of the musical Shenandoah and hearing someone's ringtone. Not only did the phone ring, not fit the show, it also gained the ire of the actors on stage and the audience members, not to mention the tech crew. Oh, he threw in a bonus tip! Number six, do not take pictures. The flash photography could blind the actor on stage. It could also lead to the actor being injured and a lawsuit for you. It's best to leave the camera at home. Also, if you are at a movie and take out the camera, you should be reported or could be reported as attempting to pirate the movie. This could land you in hot water with the MPAA as well as in extreme cases lead to jail time. There you go. A top five, <clears throat> six tips for seeing a show. And, uh, you know, they, they may sound like common sense, but, you know, the things you got to keep in mind. I mean, maybe you've got better tips for seeing a show. And if you do, by all means, send them in. I take any kind of top five tips, whether they're related to, uh, you know, yeah, entertainment or not. I mean, we typically talk tech 
at live.perillo.com. But, you know, we, uh, we also do go out uh, of our houses every once in a while. Not too often, of course. Uh, but, uh, you know, often enough to know that, you know, these are the things we got to remember when we're leaving the house. You know, as geeks, most of us are. Uh, it may not look like it, but there are actually close to 300 people in our chat room right now, and they're the people, some of them over here who have voice at the time that we're recording videos. They've been interacting over here. So if I said, you know, type in Harrison Ford, not only would we see 13 spellings of his name, uh, most likely, uh, they would, you know, after the live stream, because we're streaming audio and video live on the internet right now, uh, see, look, told you, it's live. Yeah, 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.